Hello Year 12, <coughs> welcome to a revision video, this one on topic 1, ratio and rates, and it's the multiple choice questions 6 to 10. Okay, as usual, if you a good idea to pause the video so you get a chance to have a go at doing these, and then um, press play when you're ready to have a look. Okay, so first one, number 6. What is the fuel consumption for a vehicle that travelled 340 kilometres and used 51 kilolitres of petrol to do it? So over here I put uh, uh, litres used per number of kilometres because the, all of the answers are litres used for 100 kilometres. So then I thought, okay, well, we're going to reduce the to get the answer, we've got to reduce the 340 down to 100. Now, you can't just take away 240 because that doesn't work with this side. That'll get you the negative. So we've got to find a proportion of this to this. And I was thinking, well, perhaps if you think of it in terms of a cake that has, let's go, eight slices. Eight slices of cake, and you want to, and the cake total cost um, twelve dollars to buy the whole thing. You want to find out how much, how many for, um, let's go, three pieces. So what you do is you would divide the twelve into eight for find out how many for one piece. And so let's do that. Twelve dollars for the total, divided by eight for the number of pieces, you get a dollar fifty per piece. And then for three pieces, multiply by the number of pieces, we get four point five. There is a quicker way to do it, or another way, but it costs um, four dollars fifty for three pieces. Divide the total by the number of pieces and then multiply by how many pieces you want. So that all means for this that we're going to divide the 51 litres by 340 and that will give us how many litres for one kilometre and then multiply that by 100. So let's do that. So 51 divided by 340 that'll be how many litres per one kilometre 0.15 so what you then you do is well for how many 100 kilometres it's 15 which is there it is there's the answer now the other way to do it uh, is to go this use a fraction let's try that again 51 times the fraction, which this creates. 100, because that is the fraction of the number of kilometres. 100 over the 340. So if we do the number of litres times the same fraction, we should get the same answer. Times 100 over 340. Same answer. Okay. Next one. Ratio of adults to children in a park is 5 to 9. How many adults in the park are there uh, if there's 630 children? So in the ratio, the adults is first and the children is second. So the 5 relates to the adults and the 9 to the children. Okay. So how many adults if there's 6.30? Let's go it step by step. Say this is increased by a factor of 3. So that would mean 5 times 3 is 15 adults. If there are 3 times 9, 27. 27 children, 15 adults. So that's increased by a factor of 3. 
So what about this one then? What's the incre factor increase from 9 to 630? Let's have a look. 630, I'm going to divide it by 9. Then I find how many lots of children. It's increased by a factor of 70. If you do it the other way, 9 times 70. So the increase is a factor of 70. So what we do with this one then is we're going to increase the 5, that's the adult part, 5 by a factor of 70. Same factor, 350. And so that means that is 350 adults. Okay, next one. 360 gram lolly bag is divided the ratio of 7 to 5. What is the mass of the smaller amount? Meaning, smaller amount is the 5. Okay, so I'm going to use a cake to show you what I mean. For down here, um, I'm going to do a cake. Now, first I'm going to divide it up into how many bits of ratio there are all together. 7 to 5. So that's 7 plus 5 is 12. So we're going to divide this cake into 12 bits. And then that should work out with 7 to 5. 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So someone gets 7 bits and someone else gets 5 bits. There we are. This cake's divided up into a ratio of 7 to 5. Uh, so we just added up the number of bits. 7 plus 5 is 12. Uh, and that can give us the ratio of 7 to 5. So how do we know about this one then? Well, we're going to divide this bit up into 12. And that'll be one piece. One mass. So 360 divided by 12 is um, 30. And then... That's one bit, that's one piece of cake, one piece of the lolly bag. So then we multiply by five to find out how many for five is 150 grams for the smaller amount. And there's our answer. Okay, next one. Scale drawing is a scale of one to 20. So on the map it's one, in real life it's 20. What's the actual length? So actual is in real life if the drawing length on the object is 20. So on the map it's 20 millimeters. What is it in real life? Well that's 20 times that. So it had to be 20 times that which is 400. So what's 20 millimeters on the map is 400 millimeters in real life. Okay, last one, number 10. The scale on a map given as one millimeter is 50, 150 meters. So a bigger scale on this one. If the distance between two points is 600 meters in real life, the actual distance, what's the map distance between the two points? So they're in the drawing. Well, 600 is four times that. So we can increase that by four times. That would mean one millimetre equals 150 metres. Two millimetres would be 300. So eventually we get 600. This four millimetres is 600 metres. So it's four millimetres, which is that one. Thank you.